what's going on right now? I'm trying to eat my dinner, TJ. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my dinner. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> Nine o'clock. <laughs> Can I just eat my gas station heated up meal in peace? <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it, or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, cause it's time for the daily bread. guys so um, sitting at 30 life insurance policies sold so far this week um, yesterday and Tuesday um, goal to sell 20 more today so I can end up with a round number 50 yo what up what up dude I was just uh, as I was calling you I was just telling TJ I said I'm calling Casey Adams and then this name just like popped into my head and I'm gonna start calling you the pod father the Podfather. The Podfather. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> we need like Have a pic we need like a picture of you with like a old school like mafia that I've got on the Breadwinner podcast. I've got sixty three ratings right now. Um, okay, okay. And that's without really pushing it at all. I mean, how, how many do you have right now? Like five hundred or something? I think it's like three ninety, almost yeah. four hundred right now. If you get, um, it's like, yeah, it was like 15 people to subscribe to it and leave a review. So it's like 15 people would leave a review and all that sort of stuff. And then I found like five people that could find 15 friends. And then I had all these kids like running around getting people to subscribe, leave a what? rating. And I had like, oh, I had like an army of people like building my podcast. Right Dude, the start. So it was like, that's, that's, it, it was super I mean, that's, cool. That's <laughs> sick. Like, but how were they, how were they submitting that to you? Like screenshots? They were just. Yeah, yeah, they were doing screenshots from their like friends. Like, I told, I, I even to told me. people on this one Facebook Live, I was just like, look, I was like, I don't care. I was like, you can create fake accounts. You can get your freaking grandma and your sister. Yeah, yeah, your, yeah. Like, your dead uncle. Like, I don't care who it <laughs> is, you know. But, like, but that's what I was trying to, I mean, that's what I need to do. All right, man. I appreciate it. Perfect. All right, Absolutely, Tommy. We'll definitely talk soon. All right, man. Sounds good. See you. Trying to eat my dinner, TJ. <laughs> trying to eat my dinner. What time is it? <laughs> Nine o'clock. <laughs> Can I just eat my gas station heated up meal in peace? <laughs> All right. Well, we're on the car, so I guess it's time for a tip from the whip. <laughs> so prepping your meals. Three points. Number one, life on the road, like if you're in sales and, you, and you're on the road a lot, like it's the easiest way to get fat ever. Eating out, fast food, on the go, it's the worst. But having your meals prepped, whether you prep them yourself or get them from a meal prep service, is crucial. You know what's going in your body, like you, you know what, what it is. It's not Zaxby's like TJ just ate. This is grilled chicken, black beans, rice, Tastes all right, it's great. Shout out to Tropical Chicken Grill, my dude Lazaro. If you live in Greenville, you know. Two, it's insanely efficient. There's only so many hours in a day and it's the same people that talk about like, oh, I need to spend more time at home and I don't need to work so much, but they're spending an hour and a half at lunch doing nothing. Like I, I went into the cooler in the trunk, grabbed it, went into the gas station, heated it up for two minutes, walked back in the car, I'm eating this, I'll be done in two minutes and we're back on the road. I'm able to get in and out of lunch like in six minutes, literally. And number three, it's cost effective. I'm, I'm 1099, like I've been like that forever. And so you have money coming in and money going out and you gotta control those expenses because that allows you to keep more. Then you can use them for other things that are more important. It, the money that I spend on food, it's, it's crazy how little that I spend during the week. Like I never eat out during the week. So 
healthy, nobody wants to buy from a fat guy. Just saying. Number two, it's efficient. Get in and out, get back to work. Number three, it's cost effective, saving money. That's your tip from the web. Oh, that's perfect. Dude, that's so cool to capture that on here that we just did. So this dude, Zach Dines, he makes these like sick, sick, sick art um, portraits of like profile pictures, like avatars, like um, you send them like a photo of yourself. Uh, but I explained um, all my social media and the stuff I have going on. And he just responded and was like, yeah, man, I'm in. And he said, is there any way you can give me some exposure in, um, in replacement of actually paying him for the art. So obviously. I wonder if we can get him some exposure, Tyler. <laughs> I wonder if we can get him some exposure. <laughs>